The conflict in Democratic Republic of Congo is fueled by external forces backed by internal traitor groups and internal and African countries that have interests mm -hmm. in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes. An expert will tell you that there is a constant move that every time when a conflict dies in Congo, yes. another conflict is being manufactured in another center, in another position of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Which are the countries that have interests that are constantly fueling the conflict there? First of all, the colonial countries yes. have interest mm -hmm. in Congo. Belgium, France, mm -hmm. the French. And then now we have the Americans who have come on board who want minerals. Then we have regional powers, powerhouses. Yes. Uganda, Rwanda, they have interests. Yeah. They want to see what is the interest all about? Is it about minerals? Is it about what, what exactly is it about? Majorly, the interest is minerals. Yes. The, the people, you, you know, say that the Congo produces almost everything that Africa, that's the world wants from yes. coltan, from platinum, uh, from every type of diamonds, gold, timber. Mm -hmm. You don't forget that. And then timber is. Is one charcoal. Yeah. We have a lot of charcoal going through Kismayo. Yeah. We have a lot of charcoal going through being sold. A bag of coal, of coal, of charcoal in, in Saudi Arabia costs between $400 to $800. A so, sack of charcoal? Yes, a sack of charcoal. I've done my research. So there, there is business going on there. And we are killing our forests. We are destroying our environment. And also going with the ugly since where there is a conflict, there is a gain. Yes. Yes. The people like the French have have that notion, that character, that that that, that, that motto embedded in their foreign policy. And they, and come, I, they come to destabilize Africa mm -hmm. and again out of Africa. Now I'm looking at an engagement that went on between the president Felix Tsikedi and the Rwandan president uh, Kagame, and uh, Tsikedi seems to be blaming Kagame uh, for what is happening on the eastern part of DRC. You know where the M23 army is, the rebel, and that's where that's Kenya is going. There, there, there is a problem here. Yes, you might not know the foreign policy of the two countries, yes. Rwanda and Uganda. Yes. Be careful. Mm -hmm. They can quarrel, but they are friends. Who, Rwanda and Uganda? Yes. Yes. One person commands the other. Yes. And be careful. The Kenyan people must be very, very careful, extremely careful. Uh -huh. When choosing where, how to go in, they could become targets. Because the Kenyans have gone in through the eastern part to where, where, where mostly the M23 are. They've sent special forces there. Um, and, and it looks like that's where they're going to concentrate. Special forces of which nature? I think it's the army yeah. special forces. <laughs> okay. Yes, they've gone into, into you know, the eastern side. Uh, I think they will be now uh, part of the force uh, that will be dealing with M23. And I know yeah. uh, from, from Sikedi's statement, it looks like uh, Rwanda is supporting M23. So likelihood of us having strained relations between Rwanda and Kenya are very likely because should the two forces engage there, we will have a, a very delicate situation. Let's, let's ask one question. Yes. When the M23 strike, where do they go? Mm -hmm. they, they go back they, to Rwanda. Yeah, no, I, don't know. I am not going to name it. You can yeah. name it. Yes. But when M23 strikes, it is the whole question is like the question of Al-Shabaab. Yes. When Al Shabab strikes us, where do they go? Mm -hmm. Where does Al Shabab get their uniforms? Yes. I hope your viewers and the listeners should get this point yes. because we are in for peace. Yeah. We are not looking for a war. Yeah. We are not aggravating a situation. Mm -hmm. We are not encouraging a war in the region. Mm -hmm. We are encouraging dialogue. Yeah. If you are encouraging dialogue, then you don't go in with guns. Yeah. You must go in with peace and alternatives and put them on the table. Mm -hmm. We haven't reached the point of no talking. We have to continue talking and we have to begin talking. In this one, the Kenyan forces are going in without asking questions. Yes. Who is arming M23? Yes. And for me, if I'm asked for advice, 
Yes. I can write 200 pages. Yes. And I tell you, the answer still comes to the, the answers I'm going to give you now. Yes. It's the same countries that are friendly to Kenya, that are arming M23. So now, what, what is the likelihood that we will create bad relations between Kenya and now Rwanda? Because obviously there's going to be an engagement between the forces. We are being dragged into a war yeah. that we should have taken time to study. Kenya mm -hmm. should have studied the pattern yes. of development. Yeah. In 1998 mm -hmm. and 2002, 2003, you remember what happened in Kisangani? Yes. I, do you remember what happened in Kisangani? But, but, but remind me. Uganda and Kenya turned, uh, Uganda and Rwanda turned the guns on each other. Yes. In a foreign country. In, in, uh, two thieves have gone on the ground to steal. Yes. Then they fight in the house where they are stealing property. Yes. Didn't you hear that fight? Yes, yes. Look, watch my lips. Yes. Watch my lips. Tanzanian troops have suffered there already. In the DRC? Yes. Uh -huh. In DRC, you had Tanzanian peacekeepers who were killed, very mm. many of them. Yes. By M23. Yes. South African troops have suffered. South African troops? We have South African troops there. Yes. You know, you have seen how many troops we have in that area. Yes. Everybody has tried to take troops there. Yes. I agree with the Kenyan troops going into the RC for question of creating infrastructure yes. to enable mm -hmm. the, the area to change its attitude yes. towards producing rebels yes. to production that could help the region. Yes. That's acceptable. Yes. That is acceptable. But when you are going to say you are querying a rebellion. Yes. Of the magnitude of 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 M23. Yes. Please take a step back and listen to this voice. Yes. Let's first name the people who fund this M23. Let's talk to them first. Uh -huh. Because M23 did not come from the moon. Yes. You don't don't talk to them. You are going now with a confrontation on M23. Yeah. But let's why don't we talk to the people who give M23 the guns mm -hmm. and say let's do backroom diplomacy. Yes. I instead of going for a military strategy, yeah. Yeah. let's take a redemption strategy. Mm -hmm. A redemption strategy created a peaceful environment mm -hmm. in Colombia. A redemption strategy took a peaceful environment in northern Uganda. Yes. A redemption strategy took a peaceful, brought a peaceful environment in between Britain and the Irish army. Mm -hmm. Why are these foreign countries mm -hmm. prohibiting us to do a redemption strategy? Because they want the minerals. Mm -hmm. They know very well that if we do a redemption strategy among the countries, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and the, and the Uganda, and the Congo itself, we sit on the table. Yes. We say, I am the one funding the rebels, and from today I will not fund. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And if we are open about that, mm -hmm. then the redemption strategy spirit comes in of reconciliation, truth telling, restitution, yes. healing process. Yes. That leads to, but at the moment, we are going in for a military solution, which would multiply and produce more factions. All right.